It's time for Outdoors in the Valley with your host, Jim Dugan, on WJER. Outdoors in the Valley is brought to you by TMK Valley Propane in Bakersville. When looking for a reliable local propane provider, trust TMK Valley Propane. Affordable, friendly, professional, all the way with TMK. Outdoors in the Valley is coming up next. Warmer days are ahead, and that means plenty of memories will be made outside in the coming months. Now's the time to thank propane. Trust TMK Valley Propane to take care of all of your heating needs. Propane is not only good in the winter, it can power barbecue grills, outdoor fireplaces, water heaters, and don't forget about that pool. Don't wait until you're ready to use those spring and summer appliances to get propane installed. Call TMK Valley Propane today at 330-897-897. 3911 and get set up today. Welcome to Outdoors in the Valley with Jim Dugan on WJER. This week, a check of how local turkey hunters are doing as their season gets underway. Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District property owners get an assessment break. Details on that. We will drop in on the Tuscarawas County Spring Home and Garden Show, how ginseng is helping wildlife, plus what to look for when buying a sleeping bag. Those stories and more on Outdoors in the Valley. Thanks for tuning in. Turkey season kicked off this past weekend. It was a good start for turkey hunters in the south zone, which includes Tuscarawas County. 4,078 birds were harvested on the first two days of the season in the zone. That's up over 763 birds from last year. Tuscarawas County took ninth place with 105 turkeys checked in. Other counties of regional interest were Harrison coming in at number six with 114, and Guernsey reporting 115 birds for a fourth place finish. More than 37,000 spring turkey permits have been purchased by hunters this season. One bearded turkey is the limit. Property owners in the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District have a financial break coming their way. Property assessments paid to the MWCD are being reduced by 66% from $6 to $2. Executive Director Craig Butler says the Board of Directors authorized the cut because the MWCD has been able to earn and invest nearly $200 million in public use facilities and recreational areas. This is the second time the board has passed along such benefits to property owners, according to Adria Bergeron. The assessment was originally levied in 2009. It started at $12 a parcel, and in 2015, it was cut to $6. And just on Friday, our board voted to reduce that assessment down to $2. Assessments are collected through landowners' county property tax payments. Those funds are earmarked for the operation and maintenance of 16 dams and reservoirs. That system constructed nearly 90 years ago for flood reduction, conservation, and reservoir management. As camping season begins, it may be time to replace your old sleeping bag. Unless you plan on using it for an occasional indoor sleepover, you need to pay attention to the bag's temperature rating. Laura Lancaster with Outdoor Life has evaluated sleeping bags and says you need to consider what your camping conditions might call for. Are you a summer-only camper, or do you plan on using it in winter? Sleeping bags are rated by temperature, but one that is supposedly good for 30 degrees might actually be closer to 40 degrees. During the hot nights of summer, a 30 or 35 degree bag should be more than adequate. If nighttime temperatures dip to 50 or below, go with a 20 degree or even lower sleeping bag. Find out what's new this year at the Tuscarawas County Spring Home and Garden Show. Through this weekend, learn how to freshen up or update your home and garden at the Tuscarawas County Fairgrounds. Holly Waldemeyer with the Spring Home and Garden Show says over 60 vendors are taking part this year. We have over 60 vendors and the 720 pop-up market will be joining us. They're made up of bakers, brewers, and growers. Plus, this year we are having a free wine tasting presentation. We also have educational seminars and live creative artists, musical performers, and food trucks, great door prizes, and many more attractions. Confiscated ginseng and yellow root helping to save Ohio wildlife. 
Nearly 60 pounds of ginseng and 3 pounds of yellow root, seized as evidence and valued at $51,500, will benefit sandhill cranes, trumpeter swans, and lake sturgeon. Those roots were illegally harvested or possessed, resulting in criminal court cases in 20 counties. Belmont, Coshocton, Guernsey, and Richland counties were the closest to our area. Courts in those jurisdictions forfeited the roots to the state. An auction then netted just under $862 per pound for the ginseng and $35 a pound for the yellow root. Ginseng in Ohio can only be harvested between September 1st and December 31st. That's it for this week on Outdoors in the Valley. If you have questions, comments, or story ideas, please email us at wjer at wjer.com. Until next week at the same time, I'm WJER outdoor correspondent Jim Dugan. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for listening to Outdoors in the Valley with your host, Jim Dugan, on WJER. Brought to you weekly by TMK Valley Propane in Bakersville. Online at tmkvalleypropane.com.